Hi, in this video we are going to look at six different methods to find selections for pliers to get booked betting markets. There are more and more online bookmakers offering this kind of bet and this market has gained a lot of fans recently who like it due to the very generous odds on offer. Some bookmakers will also offer you to pick a few different pliers and put them into accumulators or so-called bet builders which will combine the odds for even bigger wins. They've been especially very popular with football fans who wish to add some more interest to watching their favorite football teams or good big clashes matches. However, the bookmakers will also leave plenty of value opportunities for betting and I'm going to show you six different methods to try and determine whether the prices on offer are worth getting involved in or not. And let's start with the one that would seem to be the most logical one. When looking for pliers to get booked, you'd probably be trying to find pliers who got booked the most in the last so many matches. We can access this sort of statistics when we go to Bet the Builder and we click on the match and go to Pliers tab and look for the yellow card stats. And here we can quickly look up any statistics for Pliers bookings for all competitions, single competitions and as well the head-to-head -head meetings. So looking at the last 10 matches in all competitions, we can quickly see the players who got booked the most for both Tottenham and Manchester City. We can look at the last 10 Premier League matches and we can quickly see which players got booked the most. In this case, uh, we have three players who got booked in four out of the last 10 Premier League matches. So we would expect them to get booked in once in every two and a half matches. And finally we can check the head-to-head -head stats and we could see players who got booked in those specific meetings between Manchester City and Tottenham. And we also include the tips tab with given players and sample percentages. So if you like the look of any of these players to get booked, the next step would be to find out what are the best available odds. The only limitation with these tips is, is that they will not tell you which players will actually start the match or which will not be involved in that game at all. But that is also one of the difficulties in betting on players to get booked markets. And if you can spot good odds offered by some bookmakers, you might have a good betting selection. And you can access statistics for any other football match with our site and app, with our website and mobile app. But we also try and make it easier for you to find the best statistical selections. And if you go to tips section, you will be able to find the players tips section and look for players bookings tips. And here we post best players yellow cards tips for today and for tomorrow. So you don't have to browse statistics manually match by match as these selections are already sorted by the best statistics and percentages tips. So for example, we have Sevilla against Huesca and the player name in Sua Blanco. So we can double check his stats in that match in the bet builder. If we look at the Sevilla match, players, yellow card stats, and there we have him in Sua Blanco. 
He actually got booked in six out of his last ten matches in all competitions, and he even got booked in seven times out of ten out of his last ten La Liga matches. So that's why he's been flagged up as the strongest statistical selection. So if you follow this approach, the only thing you need to do then is to look up the available odds for those matches. And if you can spot good odds offered by some bookmakers, you might have a good selection. The next method is based on the head-to-head -head trends, so looking at players playing against the given teams. And before I explain why I would consider that as important, I want to show you a short video clip of what I'm about to explain. And this video is called the Didier Zakura's Horror Revenge Tackle on Emre. And what you're about to see looks pretty bad and it finishes somehow with only a yellow card for that. Now there's a replay of that bad tackle but however there is a bit of a history between these two players and that was the result of the racist abuse from Emre on Didier Zakora. Now if I remember correctly there used to be quite a lot of yellow cards for whole Trabzonspor team who were targeting Emre for his previous comments. This might be a very radical example of what I'm trying to, to show you. However, you can certainly find some similar situation where players have been involved in some personal conflicts. Now you might be asking how would you be able to find those players who would be seeking a revenge on rather than looking manually through each match head-to-head -head trends we have a special feature for that as well so it's also in tips and you will find players head-to-head -head yellow cards tips and here again we can quickly check which players had the best statistical head-to-head -head booking trends and let's look at the number one in the Rangers against Kilmarnock and we have Aaron Chibala who played four times against Rangers and got booked in all of those four matches. Now that does not mean that he will get booked again in his fifth match for sure but what this tells you is possibly to look at why he got booked in those matches Perhaps he played against certain players that he got some scruffs with, as there may as well be some history of those yellow cards. For this next method we are also going to look at the Bet the Builder website and app, and we are going to look for the referee tab and statistics. So you can look at the referee teams and referee players stats. What this tab tells us is how a given referee, so in this case Mr. Antonio Matteo, has been distributing his bookings across the players from both teams, from in this case Granada and Atletico Madrid. And we can see how many times given players been uh, playing under given referee and average yellow cards from those matches and we also have color formatting so for example very dark red for for the average booking of 0.6 out of 10 matches for Savage <coughs> who got booked six times out of his 10 matches when under the referee of Antonio Matteo so we can look up these sort of stats for any given match where the referee stats are available or we can also go to the tips and there is a special section on referee player tips where again we have all the best statistical trends already sorted by the highest yellow card averages. So for example here we've got Juventus under 
Mr. Duveri and Quadrado, who played four matches under that referee and got booked in three out of those. And you could look up Quadrado's bookings patterns further, see how often he gets booked, and if he's not a serious yellow card offender, there just might be some personal agenda going on against that player by this referee. It might seem a bit little controversial, <coughs> but there is all sorts of things going on in football. And believe me or not, you can actually find some really good value bets for, for players booking bets with this referee player booking tips finder. This next method is based on players' individual suspensions, which are results of accumulating five yellow cards or getting sent off. What that means is that they'll have to pause their next match or a couple of matches and you will be surprised at how many players actually plan their own suspensions to have a few days off. Usually they cannot be involved in the next matches and the clubs will often let them have a few days off and that is being used by the players to go home to their countries or even go and have a holiday. One of the most famous examples of this behavior is, is one of the most famous world football player Neymar tries to be off for a few days every March and you can find an interesting article about it when Neymar is out in late February. Seven times he's curiously missed matches and it started in 2015 when he got his fifth yellow card on the 8th of March and it was known that he would have to miss the next game. In that case Barcelona let the player fly home to Brazil where he was participating in his sister's 19th birthday party. Now what followed the next year? In 2016 a second suspension and another party. So there was a similar situation where Neymar accumulated his fifth yellow card which granted him suspension again. And that was the same week of the season and the forward missed the game against Eibar and returned to South America to see his sister Rafaela in time for her birthday. Now the other times that the situation repeated itself in the next three following seasons, however the reasons for his absence were presumably his injuries. And there's an interesting story from Jose Mourinho when he was working at Inter Milan. Every year, right before Christmas, Michael used to take his fifth yellow card so he can go to Brazil for the holidays. In 2008 we were playing Siena right before the break, so I told him that this time he couldn't go home if he got booked. He got a bit frustrated and asked me what if I score? I told him that he had to score two. We won the game 2-1, he scored both goals, took his shirt off, got booked and at the end he got an extra week of vacation. There are certainly some similarities here in this story between these two Brazilian players but if you think it's only down to those Brazilians you might be surprised how many players do similar tricks in for example English Premier League or Championship. Another approach of betting on players to get booked focuses on those the fastest and the most skillful players who enjoy showboating and, and taking on plenty of players with their dribbles. In many cases the only way of stopping those players is by fouling them and then the repetitive offenders are more likely to get booked. Another source of the yellow cards for those defenders is often frustration as they can't deal with those players or when they get humiliated by them with their showboating. And it often pays off to do your research and identify those players who would struggle to keep their discipline.
And this final method focuses on some goalkeepers who waste time by delaying their goal kicks or trying to steal a few seconds when fetching the balls that are out of play. This method can be used during the in-play matches when, when you see some unexpected teams, some underdogs winning or drawing late on in the game and it usually happens when they play away. Betting on players to get booked markets can be very fascinating and also can be very rewarding. Hopefully you found some of the methods that I've presented in this video quite useful and you can start using them in your own betting. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.